My name is Taylor, and I'm Lucas, and this is Tech Reviews For You. In this episode of Tech Reviews For You, we have the JBL Extreme. You want to wrap the specs? Yep. So, this is a portable Bluetooth speaker, as you guys can probably tell. It has 15 hours of playtime, so if you have to charge it up to 100%, you'll be able to get 15 hours of uh, streaming audio. It has a 10,000 milliamp battery, so in reference to like a phone, which is mostly like 2,000. And then this can also charge devices. So say your phone goes dead, you can plug in the USB, charge up your phone. It's got speakerphone compatibility, so if someone calls you while you're playing music, you're able to answer the calls. And it's splash proof. So that's nice if you're in the rain, but if it gets like muddy, you can also rinse it underwater to clean it off. Now the specs is going to get inside of this thing. So as you guys know from our previous JBL unboxing, JBL art does like a pretty good job with their packaging. So straight from the box comes the top, which has the power cable, a few instructions for the power cable, and the speaker. It's wow. comes with a nice styrofoam, thanks JBL. Oh, the leather strap. So in case you want to kick it old, old school and have it around your shoulder, which I, I will not be doing that. The beast that lives within. Wow, that's sweet. So there's a zipper on the bottom. Oh, to access the ports because it's splash proof. Makes sense. Right, so what are your first impressions? Uh, my first impressions on this is that it's awfully heavy. That's probably why they give you guys the leather strap. So then you don't have to carry this thing around. I'd say it's like close to 10 pounds maybe. But I really like the design of it. We picked the all black. There was also blue there. We'll have to link all the colors, what colors you guys can get down in the description. But yeah, I really like this. Like as I told you guys, there's a zipper down here. And it shows you uh, the auxiliary and USB. You got two of those so you can charge your devices like I said. And then the power port. And that's all because the speaker is splash proof. So you're able to take it in the rain. So what are your first impressions on this? I mean, same as you, I love the design. I mean, reading up the specs, I love how, how it's water resistant and how it can charge your phones. I mean, that's pretty cool to me. So we're gonna go ahead and play you guys some music from the extreme. Let us know down in the comments how it sounds. So there are a couple samples of some song for you guys. What are your first impressions on the sound? I mean, when, like in the middle of the uh, song, we like turn it around. Right. I noticed that the the sound only comes from the front. Right. I don't, yeah. So it's not like surround like like the Yui Boom or the uh, Pulse Suit. Yep. So I mean, I wish they had that in there. But I mean, it's, it's still a great speaker. Like you guys heard. When we purchased this JBL Extreme, it was $249. Knowing that, who would you recommend it to? I mean, I would recommend this to anyone who's like looking for a portable speaker. I know this is not like, this isn't ideal for it to be portable because it's so big, but I mean, you could use it for portability and I, I think it'd be great for that. What about you? Um, I recommend it to someone that maybe already has like a smaller one like you mentioned and was really wanting to invest into a speaker because whenever we were at the store, this was definitely one of the most like the highest priced portable speaker if not the highest that we saw there so $249 is a lot of money which you guys probably saved up a fortune you know I don't know if you guys want to drop it on this but you know if you have some extra money lying around then this is definitely one to go for it sounds really nice in comparison to the Pulse 2 I think it like far and surpassed that so for the money I think it's worth it but in retrospect what else you could buy for $250 that's what you guys have to consider 
So after unboxing the JBL S3, did I give it TR4 approval? I want to give it the approval because of the sound and the aesthetics, but at $250, I feel like you guys could definitely find another portable speaker that might not be as loud, but definitely more convenient to travel with and give out enough sound in order to like fill the room. All right, there it is for you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, things you want to see. Like we said, we're trying to get that out to you guys. Thanks again for watching another episode of TRFY.